Gracious, please welcome Mervyn Clare. So Mervyn Clare approaching the boxing ring. It's time to welcome the boxer fighting out of the blue corner, representing India, Nisha Dev. His opponent heading for the blue corner is Nishant Dev of India. Mark Williams of Wright Wales is the referee taking charge of this one. And what an intriguing matchup we have in prospect here in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division. A classic encounter between the qualities of youth and experience featuring boxers from Mauritius and India. The man wearing red operating out of the southpaw stance is Mervyn Clare. 28 years of age, a two-time Olympian, fresh off his run to the quarterfinals in the 69-kilogram welterweight division in Tokyo earlier this summer. His opponent, just 20 years of age, and that is Nishant Dev. Dev competing in his second bout of Belgrade 2021, and he was really impressive in his round of 64 victory. Over the nine-time national championship gold medalist from Hungary, Laszlo Kozak. The two-time participant in the world champions, championships eliminated on a unanimous point decision verdict by some razor-sharp punch-picking from the rapid hands of Nishant Dev of India. And there you see an example of it, snaking up that right jab and catching Mervyn Clare on the end of it. Two speedy boxers trying to create openings for their jabs behind feints and footwork in the first half of this opening round. Oh, terrific right-left success again from Dev. He's very rangy at this rate. You can see, at this weight. You can see the length of his reach, Claire bobbing and weaving in front of his man. Not much that Claire hasn't seen on the Aiba boxing circuit over, over the course of his illustrious career. Good left hand to the body landed by Claire. Counter left hand not too far away from the man in red. He tried to turn over a right hook during that exchange as well. Nice movement in the pocket from Claire to make the man miss, but Claire falling short with his, his, his attempted counter. Good right jab scored by Nishant Dev. Claire dropping down intelligently with a good right jab to the body. Dropped at the knees, straightened out the right jab and found the range. Right, left, just were glancing blows from Nishant Dev on his attempted forward for eight. Nice right jab again as a disruptive shot from Nishant Dev. The head, heads may have come together. Nishant Dev just blinking a little bit after that, after that impact. Active round of boxing between these two talented southpaws. And Nishant Dev taking it across the board. All five judges scoring in favor 
of the 20-year-old from India. Some of the action from that opening round. Nishant Dev looking to be the aggressor, the initiator in the early stages. Team working away with that free left hand, but that snaking jab comes out so rapidly. That's the same shot from another angle. Really is a terrific weapon. So we're going to the second round then. Mervyn Clare who competed at the World Championships in Hamburg. We lost in the first preliminary round. Comes to the ring as the reigning All-Africa Games gold medalist, having taken the title in Rabat in Morocco two years ago. There was a continental silver in the African Games, in, in the African Continental Championships in 2017 for Mervyn Clare. Consistently has proven himself to be, to be one of the top operators in and around the welterweight division. Here he is at light middleweight against a man who is looking to establish similar credentials for himself at what is the start of his senior Aiba boxing career. But look at the beauty on that lead right jab. Firing it from around peck level. And it's coming from seemingly the other side of the boxing ring. He's just sustained a damaged nose. And now, again, I posed this question in his opening contest against Laszlo Kozak. When you're dealing with such a prodigious, perhaps even precocious talent, we know about the skill. Then we have to have the other qualities examined. How is he going to deal with the adversity of an injury? With the discomfort that comes from having to breathe through a nose that has been damaged. I'm sure he's experienced it before during the course of his career, the reigning Indian national champion. But all of these are boxers that have to be checked. And a veteran such as Mervyn Clare will feel that he's the man to pose such questions. Good right jab to the body on the resumption from Clare. But look at that right jab to the head once again from Nishant Dev. Left hand to the body in response from Claire. So halfway through the second round, I was commentating on the African Olympic qualification event in Dakar in Senegal, when one of the biggest upsets of the tournament saw Mervyn Clare stopped in the third round of the quarterfinal by Steven Zimba of Zambia. Part of a talented team of Zambian, primarily teenagers, all youngsters that were representing in Senegal during that Olympic qualification bid. Walked onto a shot, sent to the floor, beat the count, did Mervyn Clare, but the referee waved it off with him standing on his feet. Got his hands full here with Nishant Dev. Trying to increase his tempo and turn the screw now, Mervyn Clare, to test Nishant Dev beyond his level of skill. Find out about his resilience and his tolerance to discomfort. All of these qualities he's trying to examine and scrutinize now. You see the difficulty that Nishant Dev is having breathing because of the nose damage that he's sustained. And he can't turn his back on his opponent like that. Referee Mark Williams will may interpret that. As negativity and bad body language. Second round in the book. As we take a look at the scores, it's a 3-2 split in favor of Nishant Dev. So two tied scores of 19 points apiece, but crucially from Nishant Dev's perspective, He's got a two points to nothing lead, 20 points to 18. Two point lead on the scorecards of judges three, four, and five.
So into the third and final round then. Mervyn Clare conceded the first round unanimously, took the second round for two of the judges, and he's really setting about his man now because you can see almost distress signals coming from the face of Nishant Dev. He's really having difficulty breathing comfortably. That nose damage is making that a very difficult task indeed. And if you have to concentrate on your breath, well, my goodness, by definition, it means you're not concentrating on your boxing. And again, looking wide-eyed and rather concerned now. Perhaps alarmed is Nishant Dev. But he's trying to retain his composure, retain his boxing stance. Mervyn Clare again looking to pose these questions, knocking on the door. I'm posing a real examination that young Nishant Dev has to come through. The man's talent is apparent. He possesses an abundance of it. But when you are that talented, often a veteran can come and pose the question and say, OK, everybody feels good in the first round of a contest. How do you feel when we get deep into it and you're not as fresh as you were in the opening stages? Good double left hand from Mervyn Clare. Nishant Dev shaking out his arms, disengaging now, but again, from his perspective, as he bombs away with a backhand, but it's caught by the right glove of Mervyn Clare, scores with a straight right jab to the body. And Mervyn Clare turn the screw further and crank up the pressure. Dev keen to hold on, working away with his free right hand. But the fact that it was a 3-2 two, a two split in favor of Dev rather than Clare, at the conclusion of this fight, at the conclusion of the second round, is going to make it really difficult for Claire to overturn this. Now he needs a massive final round and he's running out of time in which to produce it. Had he edged it 3-2, which was entirely conceivable, then the way he's boxing in this third and final round, for my money, he would be going through to the round of 16. Remember, you need an absolute majority of the three an absolute majority of the five scoring judges and the fact that there's a two-point advantage, 2018 for judges three, four and five for Dev. If he can remain upright and not concede a massive final round, well, I think he'll be going through to the round of 16. But Claire is posing a really stern examination of the man's resilience here and to his credit, he is coming through it. He's cut a rather distressed figure. Don't know how significant that nose damage is but the extent of the damage is making it difficult for the man in blue to breathe. But he has passed the test posed by Mervyn Clare during rounds two and three, and he will be going through to the round of 16. Could be a significant victory that in the career of Nishant Dev, because I suspect we're going to see a lot of this young man down the years, Mervyn Clare, the two-time Olympian, just edged in the second round after conceding the first unanimously and Nishant Dev has made it through. I don't think he won the final round but I think he's going to win the contest. Probably a split decision. Let's hear the official announcement. And there is confirmation of a split decision victory for Nishant Dev, the 20-year-old from Haryana State, prevailing on a 4-1 split. Nishant Dev taking all three rounds for judges three, four, and five. I thought Mervyn Clare did enough to take the final round, but that's academic. A 4-1 split victory in favor of the man from India and he goes through to the round of 16. A very significant win that over the two-time Olympian from Mauritius. Mervyn Clare, the Tokyo Olympic quarter finalist eliminated here in the second preliminary round in his opening bout of Belgrade 2021. And it's Nishant Dev who progresses despite the inconvenience of an injured nose that made breathing very difficult indeed in rounds two and three. Good win for Nishant Dev.